We have a lot of people who do not speak English as their first language. How are you going to be supportive of other people? How do you think the students will treat her? What you do with the information is you use it to build into your career. No one deserves to get bullied. No one deserves to be discouraged or not confident about themselves. That's why we need to forget the past and reunite all together as one team. One of the things that we wanted to do um, when I first came in is I wanted to hear from the community on what their biggest concerns were. So I did listen and learn sessions. And during the listen and learn sessions, um, some areas rose to the top. Uh, and one of the concerns were representation in the curriculum. Um, the windows and mirror paradigm is something that we are basing on an article from the 1990s which was called Windows, Mirrors and Sliding Glass Doors. And it was just the idea that literature should be a way that children can see themselves in a story and to have their lived experience reflected back or a way to open a window to see somebody else's lifestyle, somebody else's lived experience. And the sliding glass doors when they walk through into the literature and actually can become a part of that world. You can't say that you're colorblind, because if you are, then you're not reaching all the students in your classroom. So our training with the windows and mirrors paradigm, uh, I go through some of the activities that I ask the students to do, and it helps them um, look at their own identity, look at their own experiences, and then look at how they relate to literature. Those are all of the types of people, those are the types of experiences. That's what life is going to be like for our students. So how do we get them there to where they need to be if we're too uncomfortable to grapple with it ourselves? The Windows and Mirrors Resource Center is located at ABR. And I'm especially proud that the students of ABR helped to put it together. And in fact, they helped to put together the gift boxes that we are giving out to school leaders. It was identified during the Listen and Learn session that school leaders needed a toolbox to support their work with equity. And we put together a notebook filled with resources for them to call on and to support both their school as well as their students. We have been working with the Anti-Defamation League, ADL, for middle school. Um, and so we've, um, we now have ADL teams in every school for our middle schools and we're in the process of planning an equity summit for middle school students. One of the things that I did, since Short Pump was the catalyst, um, I immediately went in and started working with the leadership, school staff, um, about formulating something that I call an opportunity plan. We sat down over numerous days uh, working as a team collaboratively to really create a plan that would ensure that we looked in every area of the school. Every Wednesday is Pumas with Heart Wednesday. We are instituting social emotional lessons on every single Wednesday, and students now are excited about this. The point of today is how are you going to react to it? No doubt about it. Everybody is different. We were excited about Unity Day, um, and the component that I was really most excited about this school year was having the students lead the program. We come together to take a stand against bullying and unite in support of kindness, acceptance, compassion, and inclusion. We have a committee, we call us the EDAC, Equity University Advisory Committee. Uh, the EDAC committee was designed to really be a representation of our school district. So we've been asked to, to look at first the goal that is related to strength in diversity. Every single magisterial district is represented, and for every single magisterial district, we have five seats. You all have been doing the work. You all have um, been working with, with our students. Another thing that was uh, given under the department's charge is student congress. Um, we have now redesigned it to become equity ambassadors. So what we did is we bought in the sponsors of the Student Congress and ask them what they would like this to look like around this idea of supporting equity and uh, diversity and inclusivity in schools. And so they helped us formulate a new mission statement and now we are realizing that mission statement. What I'd like to see is definitely for us to grow and identify programs that support equity and access and break down barriers. And so whatever those areas are is what I would like to see within our department.